my name is Anya and today I really want to make some rose flavored marshmallow sandwiches. Since it's almost Valentine's Day, I'll be making these sandwiches in the shapes of X and O for hugs and kisses. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to notified every time I upload. I upload every day, Monday to Friday. In a bowl with a quarter cup of hot water, add in one cup of sugar. And mix until the sugar has dissolved. In a bowl with three tablespoons of water, sprinkle on two and a half teaspoons of gelatin powder on top. Place in the microwave for 10 seconds and mix until smooth. In a pot of a high heat, add in 3 quarter cup sugar, a third cup of your sugar mixture, a pinch of salt, and 3 tablespoons of water. Bring to the boil without stirring. Taste the temperature of the mixture with a candy thermometer. The mixture should come to a temperature of 114 degrees Celsius. Pour your gelatin mixture into a large bowl. With the hand mixer going, slowly pour in your sugar mixture. Beat this mixture for a full 10 minutes. Add in 1 teaspoon rose essence and a few drops of pink food colouring. Mix slightly. Pour into a prepared tin. And allow to rest uncovered for three hours. In a bowl with a quarter cup of butter, Add in a third cup of sugar and mix until light and fluffy. In a bowl, add in one egg yolk and mix until well combined. Add in one teaspoon vanilla essence and mix until well combined. Add in a pinch of salt and one tablespoon of cream cheese. Mix until smooth. Add in two third cup of flour and a third cup of cocoa powder. Mix until a smooth dough forms. Roll your dough out and
out and I used an X shaped stencil and I cut X's out. Then with a circular cookie cutter, cut out circles, bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Remove the paper from the marshmallows. Dust with icing sugar. And cut out X shapes. And circle shapes. Spread some white melted chocolate onto your biscuit. And then add the corresponding marshmallow shape on top. Close the marshmallow sandwich. Repeat these steps for the rest of your marshmallow sandwiches. And today you have Hugs and Kisses Marshmallow Sandwiches.